All right, so here we're having a game of Pinochle. Um, the first part about this is you want to try and win the bidding. What I like to do is not let the opponents win too cheaply. Uh, down here, you can see how many points uh, melds I've got. I've got uh, four jacks, so that's where those points are coming from. Um, but let's just bump this up a bit. Um, usually I don't like letting the opponents win for under 300. Um, so we will, wow, we want it that cheaply. All right. Um, it's counterintuitive, but I'm thinking of going hearts, uh, just because I want my partner to pass me the jack of hearts if possible. Uh, cause if I get the jack of hearts, we get heaps of points. Nice. <laughs> so having, uh, doubles of jacks gets you up to, uh, 400 points instead of just 40. So that is awesome. I can't pass partner any jacks. I want to try and create some melds for them. Um, they can have the, uh, Like that, that have tossed me four good hearts. Yeah, I'll just, um, yeah, I'll give them those good cards. Nice, so here the plan uh, paid off div dividends. Uh, jacks all round, 400 points. So here I didn't pick my favorite suit for trumps, but I picked what I wanted my partner to give me. So partner will very often just lead um, pass four trumps over. So in Pinochle, when you win the um, bidding, uh, what actually happens is that uh, you get to nominate the trump suit and then also you get to, um, <laughs> you get to nominate the trump suit and then you and your partner get to trade four cards. In the card play here, you have to follow suit if you can. Uh, the rank of the cards goes ace 10 king queen jack and then how the scoring works in the play is you you want to win tricks but you want to win tricks that have aces tens or kings in them and you get uh, 10 points uh for each of those uh that actually get played so um if you like for each ace 10 or king you get you get 10 points um, so I'll just uh, pop that up and just look at the detail here. So there's two things that you're trying to do in this. That, well, three things. First is you're trying to bet to see what the minimum score you want if you want to choose trumps is and get the ability to trade. These are fantastic bonuses that you want to do. The next thing that you want to do is try and create melds. These are combinations of cards. Um, so uh, it might be like a straight flush in trumps, ace 10, king, queen, jack 10. Um, might be marriages where you've got the king queen of any given suit and it's better if it's trumps or uh, you get bonuses for having the nine of trumps which is the lowest trump or there's something called pinochle which is the queen of spades and the jack of diamonds uh, that's what you're trying to actually create there and then in the play you're trying to win tricks and any trick that has a ace, a 10 or a king in it gets you 10 points per one of them that you capture. So that's what you want to be going for there. Uh, so my partner bid. All right, so what do we have here? I've got 110 points in clubs. So points wise, I have a marriage in clubs. I have all the queens. I've got four queens here. So that's giving me um, 60 points, no matter what the suit is. And I got the nine of clubs there as well. I don't really need to win trumps here. I just want to try and push. Um, I'm happy for my partner to have won. I was just trying to push the opponents up a bit because getting 300 points when you get to trade it is pretty easy to do. Um, so I'm touch and go here. Uh, I might just pass and let them go. I don't really mind what trumps is and there's not anything I really want to pass to my partner. They're going to choose hearts, but um, we've got 80 points just in, in the bank here for my all my queens. All right, so they had a straight flush in hearts and they had pinochle. Uh, so that's their 190 points. 
I got a marriage in clubs and four queens. It's my 80 points. Uh, they've got a marriage and just the nine of trumps, so that's 30 points. And my partner's got a nine. Okay, so my partner didn't have much for me there. All right. So here, if my partner's winning, I possibly want to chuck kings or tens on their tricks just so that they actually win stuff. If an equal card's played, like let's say there's two aces and two uh, tens of each card. So, um, all right, so my partner's winning there. Uh, let's get rid of uh, this 10 of diamonds. This will give us flexibility. Um, my 10's good, but I really want the, the points to my partner. So I'll unblock that. And here, similar, oh wait, they trumped. <laughs> uh, I really should have played a low club there. Um, but yeah, similarly, I was just trying to get rid of uh, points there. So uh, this player's winning lots here now. Um, so no more trump suit. Uh, they trumped in. And the final card, okay. Yep, so they got there. Um, and they got a healthy score. They, they had a good hand there. So it's first to 1500 where, um, I'll jump across so you can see the uh, score. Uh, but the score is down here. We're on 750, they're on 540. All right, what do we have here? Uh, I've got this really good spade suit that I probably want to be trumps. Uh, points wise, I've got a marriage there. Um, what else do I have? I got the nines of some Trump suits. Uh, Ace, I need the Jack of Spades. If I just, if my partner's got a Jack, my hand is fantastic. So I want to be trying to win this. And I, <laughs> I, I won it. <laughs> Go me. All right. Um, oh, I've also got a Pinochle. I got the Queen of Spades and the Jack of Diamonds. All right. Okay. Uh, so my hand is fantastic here. Uh, my partner might be able to get a marriage in hearts. Um, I just want to create a shortage there and we'll just toss them those two cards. I want to keep all the spades. I need to keep the jack of diamonds. Um, yeah. All right, so the straight flush, 150 points, the pinochle, 40 points, the nine of spades is 10 points. So really good hand here, nothing there. Nothing for my partner. I've got the nine of spades. Okay, so there's like no melds going around whatsoever. Um, but here, I largely just want to draw the opponent's trumps. And uh, I need to take this ace of hearts. Um, right. They, in theory, should know that I've got the jack of diamonds. Um, so I might just go ace of diamonds, uh, diamond to my partner. No. I was just hoping my partner had the uh, ace there. If they did, then we would have been able to hold them to zero and they wouldn't have even got their meld score if that was the case. Not that their meld score was that high, but a uh, few points there. Um, fantastic. And we're up to 1180. So we're closing in on the win here. All right, and I don't have much here. Um, in spades, I've got two nines. In clubs, I've got a nine. Um, my hand's pretty bad. I don't actually want to win this. I just want to poke in a bid and um, hopefully push the opponents out. Um, but my partner won there. Um, so I want to give them uh, some hearts. What else might be able to create a marriage. I kind of want the queen of spades for pinochle and a spade king. So I'm going to hold on to those. I don't want anything in clubs. So I'll just toss them the queen of clubs as another card. Or I could just toss the ace of spades. Just give them a better chance. Maybe they get aces all round. Yeah, I think that's a better approach. Um, and we got the pinochle, nice. And I've got kings all round. So the queen of clubs would have given them a marriage in clubs, but uh, the ace of spades might just let them win more tricks. So tough balance there. 
Um, they did well passing to me. I got P-Knuckle, The Marriage, and uh, Nine of Trumps. So uh, we're already over that. Um, so score-wise, we're on 1180. We need to score uh, 320 to win, which I think we're about to do this in the next uh, trick. We've done it. We're taking the win in uh, P-Knuckle there. Uh, so that's how you can play. A lot about it's... Um, the card play is definitely interesting about when you toss high cards, when you don't. Um, about trying to get points to your partner or do you want to save it to actually win tricks later? And, but I think one of the key things is winning the bidding so that you can try and uh, um, create melds with your partner. I think that is the super interesting part of P-Knuckle about when you can actually uh, be doing like what's the best way to actually create melds so uh noticing that i had a chance to get four jacks on that first hand i think was really huge and uh important there but uh awesome game of pinochle hope you uh, enjoyed it and give it a shot